This is Computer Insider, Canada's most watched, most listened to technology series. From around the world, computer news, user tips, hardware profiles, and software insights. Avoiding technobabble, we keep you informed in plain language. Computer Insider is hosted by award-winning international broadcast journalist, Bob Pritchard. Thank you very much for joining us today. One of the most frustrating things to work with around your home is Wi-Fi. Trying to get that signal to every corner so you can drop off the pays you play cell networks and get into a much faster home network. Wi-Fi uses the same technology that FM radio, smartphones and television rabbit ears use and is susceptible to the same kinds of problems like interference, penetration and range. If you're having internet bandwidth problems at home, buffering on YouTube for example, and you don't want to go through all the disruption and expense of hard wiring or buying a new, more advanced router, there are simple ways to improve performance. One of those is to check for interference. Now, here's how you do that. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that your main home connection to the web is okay. This is really easy to do. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of speed test applications that will tell you exactly what's going on. The next step would be to download a similar app for your smartphone. Simply download it and then check to see how fast you're connected. One important note here is to make sure that you've turned on your smartphone's Wi-Fi. The next thing you should be doing is to download a Wi-Fi analyzing app for your smartphone. Now we've been using the Firefox Wi-Fi analyzer for Android, but there are others out there as well. You can obtain a Fireparks free app from the Google Play Store. Check for interference by viewing the channel graph. You'll see numbers there that range from 1 to 14. Don't worry about the levels themselves, but do look at the graph. What you want to check for is neighboring Wi-Fi networks that overlap yours on the x-axis. And by the way, the networks will be labeled. Keep in mind that the Wi-Fi standard split Wi-Fi signals in the 2.4 gig range up to 14 overlapping channels that act like a single range of frequencies. While the channels are designed to work together, a channel used by two or more adjacent networks can cause them to interfere with each other, reducing your bandwidth. If there's a problem, change your network's Wi-Fi channel to one that's not in use. Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. This is Computer Insider. Canada's most watched, most listened to technology series. From around the world, computer news, user tips, hardware profiles, and software insights. Avoiding technobabble, we keep you informed in plain language. Computer Insider is hosted by award-winning international broadcast journalist, Bob Pritchard.